Hello, my name is Gary and I am coming to you from somewhere in the Rockies and today I want to do a book haul video. I'm going to talk to you about some of the books I've picked up this month. So the first set of books I want to talk about are these are books that I have actually purchased. I spent my hard-earned money on these books. The uh, very first book I want to talk about is Shadow of the Fox. This is by Julie Kagagawa. Uh, this is the November Book Explosion book. Uh, it's based on the mythology of Japan. Every thousand years, uh, the person holding the scroll of a thousand prayers has the power to call on the great Kami dragon and ask one wish. And the time of that is quickly approaching, and everyone is on the lookout for those pieces. And it just so happens the first piece is held by a peasant girl with a dark secret. This sounds like a really interesting book. I'm really fascinated with Japan and their mythology, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the next book I picked up is the book Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepard. Uh, this book is about a young girl named Anouk who is actually a beastie. She's an animal that has been turned into a human, and she has spent her entire human life living locked up inside the witch that made her townhouse. Uh, when the witch is murdered, Anouk and her friends have three days to find another witch to extend the spell, or else they all turn back into animals. Uh, it's a really great book. Uh, I did a review on it. I'll have a link to that in the notes. And this was the October Book Explosion book, and uh, they, the Book Explosion crew, Jesse, Cat, and Christina are going, or Christine, excuse me, are going to be doing a wrap up on that. I believe next week from when this video is filmed. Uh, the next book I picked up is The Language of God by Dr. Francis Collins. This is actually a non-fiction book. Uh, Dr. Collins was uh, one of the leads on the team that unraveled the human genome. Uh, spent, he has spent much of his career studying genetics and DNA. Uh, and this book is basically about how he went from being an atheist to a Christian based on his studies of science and philosophy. And he explains in the book how the what we learn through science and what we've learned from DNA is basically showing us the language of God. I'm currently reading this book and I'm really enjoying it. If you were ever curious as to how a real scientist uh, could be a Christian and believe in God, I would definitely recommend picking up this book and reading it. And then finally, the, the last book I actually bought this month is Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Uh, it's basically a book about a, a young woman named Andrama, and she leads an all-girl pirate crew, and they hunt throughout the galaxy. Uh, when they are sent on a mission that goes awry, they suddenly find themselves at the mercy of a bounty hunter from Andy's past, and they get coerced into taking a dangerous mission that puts them directly in the path of a bloodthirsty ruler bent on revenge, and they are basically all that stands between uh, the universe and total destruction. Uh, this next group of books are books that I picked up that I actually got through the Kindle Unlimited program. If you're not familiar with that, it's a subscription program Amazon does. I believe it's about $10 a month, and you gain access to a vast library of various books of all types of genres. Uh, you can have as many as 10 out at a time, and you pay no additional price for the books, and you can keep them as long as you want. Uh, so the first book I picked up is called The Tuscan Child by Rise Bowen. Uh, this is a uh, historical mystery. Uh, it takes place in uh, during the 70s, but it also has elements that take place in the late or mid 40s during World War II. So in 1944, a British pilot was shot down over the Tuscan countryside, and he uh, finds refuge and loves in the arms of a young woman named Sophie Bartoli. Uh, he promises to come back for her and marry her, uh, but a betrayal uh, puts an end to those plans. Uh, after his death, his daughter finds a letter that he had written to Sophie, which hints at a mystery about his past that his daughter never knew. So she travels to Italy to learn more. It's a really interesting read. I will probably be doing a review of it here sometime in the future. Uh, the next book I picked up is also by Rise Brant Bowen. It's also a historical mystery. It is called In Farley Field. Uh, so during World War II, a soldier lands in the grounds of Farley Field when his parachute fails. Uh, suspicion is raised about this soldier because of his uniform, and that suspicion suddenly turns to 
Lord Westernham and his family. And uh, Ben Creswell, the son of a vicar and family friend, is tasked by MI5 to unravel the secrets of this mystery. Uh, sounds like a really fun book I'm looking forward to reading. Uh, the next thing I picked up uh, were The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina by Robert Aquira Sacasa, and I probably totally butchered that name. Uh, this is actually a comic book series. It is a companion series to the new Netflix series that's coming out by the same name. And it's basically a darker retelling of the Sabrina character, who was one of the side characters in the Archie comics. Uh, the character was made popular by the, teen by the TV series Sabrina the Teenage Witch, starring Melissa Joan Hart. And this is actually a darker retelling. I've read the first two issues of the comic. I've got the third one waiting for me. So far, I'm really enjoying it. And again, the entire series is available as individual issues through Kindle Unlimited. And you can also buy a single, single volume graphic novel. Uh, the other book I picked up through Kindle Unlimited is The Vatican's Last Secret by Francis Joseph Smith. So during World War II, the Nazis and uh, members of the Vatican uh, plotted the most brazen robbery of all time. And then uh, 70 years later, while on his deathbed, well-known philanthropist with a dark past, Hans Dieter, relays a story about this robbery to his son, Jim Dieter, and his son's best friend, Dan Flatterly. And he talks about his role in the robbery and the secret that the Vatican has killed to keep secret. I love these kinds of pseudo-historical mysteries that have a lot of action and, and things like that. So I'm looking forward to reading that as well. And then the last book I picked up this month is called Desolation by Jasper Schmidt. This is the first book in the Keystone Bone Trilogy. Uh, basically, the art, an archdemon has been sealed away in a prison for thousands of years, but he is about to escape. And the only thing that can prevent him from destroying the world is locating the Keystone Bone, a part of the God of Death's skull that was used to seal the demon away in the first place. Um, sounds like an interesting book. I've already started it. It's a, a really nice fantasy novel, kind of an original world with original characters and creatures. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I do have to, I do want to say just for all transparency, the book was actually given to me for free by the author, uh, but I do plan on reading it and giving an honest opinion about it when I am done. Uh, but as it's so far, I'm enjoying it and I would like to go ahead and read the rest of the trilogy. So these are the books I picked up this month. Some I've already read, some I'm currently reading, uh, some I definitely look forward to getting to here in the new future. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what books you've been reading this month, what books you've picked up. Uh, if you have any suggestions you'd like me to look at, definitely leave those as well. Um, if you've enjoyed it, be sure to give this a thumbs up, and uh, I'm going to post new videos every Saturday. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and be sure to click on that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I present whenever I post new content. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Keep reading. Don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video.